Hey guys, Mrs. Mercier here. Just want to share with you some quick tips for researching through virtual or augmented reality. So we have two places where you can find virtual and augmented reality. One is on the iPads and iPods, and you're going to search very similarly on those apps as you are on the other place, IMS for Kids. When you are on IMS for Kids, we are going to look under digital resources and you're going to see virtual reality. When you click on that, you're going to see these sites that will bring you to virtual reality. Now you can search these for things that you want to find. So if, let's for say, for example, I want to go Discovery VR and we have this app on the iPods. You can actually just scroll to see what they have to offer to see if it is related to anything that you're finding information about. Um, the um, Another way you can search, so if you go on to 360 Cities, for example, you're gonna search pretty much the same way that you would do an internet search. So for example, if I wanted to know what a recycling center would look like, um, I'm, I'm just gonna type in my keyword, recycling. And it'll show you there are 38 panoramas, zero videos, and, um, and I can see here, here's one, I know this is a recycling center, but I can see other options as I scroll down. Let's say perhaps I'm looking for something about water in Africa, so I might just like search up Africa. And then I can see all the different possibilities up here of what I have. I might wanna just narrow it down a little bit more with my keyword, like I did Africa water. And so I am going to just scroll through. So one of the cool things about 360 cities is that it tells you where it is you're looking at. Like this is the waterfalls in Wadi in El Sada hot water. This is another water station. So I can see exactly what it is I'm looking at in the, in the um, 360 cities. And the same is true for GoVR and YouTube 360. One of the things I will say about YouTube 360 is that it's already curated for you. So these are all the videos that are already approved for education, educational use, and you can just scroll through them. But the same way you would do a safe search or a keyword search online is the same way you would use uh, keywords when you're searching for augmented and virtual reality.